Hello folks, I hope you're all doing well. I am up at the plot and it's a Saturday morning for a change. Normally, I'm here on a Sunday morning, although this video probably will go out on Sunday evening, not, not on Saturday. But it's a bit of a busy time, sort of, locally around here where I live. So, earlier in the week, on Tuesday, we had something called Marches Day, in Lithgow Marches, which is a bit of a historical thing around the town about riding the borders and making sure there's nobody attacking the town and things like that. It's completely different these days and we have a big... There's a big sort of parade goes down the street. There's bands, there's floats, there's stuff going on all day. The provost does special things. There's all sorts of stuff going on. It's a great day, brilliant weather, lovely day, lots going on, nice sort of family day going on in the town, brilliant. And today, Saturday, is what's called the gala day. Big parade sort of thing going on again, but today is all about the kids. Loads of stuff on about the, for the kids going on, so I'm up here nice and early before we get involved in that. And later on today, we've got a lovely barbecue in our streets. At the end of our street, there's a little communal area. So we have barbecue there. There's a bouncy castle for the kids to play on, and we'll have some drinks and stuff like that. And it'll be wonderful, as long as the weather stays like this. Speaking of the weather, we had a little bit of rain last night, just the tiniest drop. It started, and I was like, yes, it's raining. And about 10 or 15 minutes later, it stopped. It was sort of on and off for the 10 to 15 minutes. We've had a little bit, but not much. But we're heading into thunderstorm territory this, this weekend. In the week coming, apparently, we're going to get loads of rain. But I will believe that when I see it. But it is, it's Saturday morning. I see I'm, 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 I'm looking out the little window behind me in the polytunnel here. And it's a bit overcast. So, you know, got, got some hope that we'll get some rain this week. Anyway, 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 on to, on, on, on to today's video. So I've got some things to update you on. I, I, I was conscious that we've started a couple of experiments off, some of them a little while ago, some of them not so long ago. So there's a couple of things on the go out there that I just wanted to give you a little bit of an update on. So three things really. One is the carrot seed tape. So there was a video for that a while ago where we're trying seed tape to do the carrots for the first time. So we'll have a look at how that's gotten on. Then we've got the two beds over the far side there, the pallet colour beds that we did identical. One was Hugel culture though, and one was the compost that I bought from the shop. And there's some interesting results in that actually, I'll, I'll show you that in a minute. And then just along from that, a little bit further down, we've got another bed that we did some more seed tape in. And there's something interesting going on with that as well. But I've got a bit of a, I've got a little bit of a theory on that one as to what's happened with that. But we'll, we'll come to that at the end and we'll see We'll see whether I'm right or not. Like, I'll be interested to know what you guys think as well. We'll see. But anyway, right, what I'll do, I'll get things sorted out out there. We'll pick you up. We'll go outside and we'll take a look and see how these experiments are coming along. Well, I think today's video might be a little bit of a handheld extravaganza because we've got to move about the plot. So there's no point getting you set up on the tripod and sorted out like that. So we'll do a bit of a bit of a moving about extravaganza. But let me, let me show you this to begin with. This is the carrot bed. And look, we've got a, for starters, we've got a bit, look at this grown in here, look at this weed, this sticky, this is a sticky stuff that, oh God, it's horrible. Right, we'll get rid of that anyway. But you can see the carrot seed here. This is the carrot seed tape that we put in and it's come up, you know, it's come up pretty well. Let's get in nice and close so you can see. It is going to need probably a little bit of thinning out which is something I wanted to avoid, but uh, you know, I'm not going to be able to, because like, see these three there, they're in a bit of a bunch, so I'll probably take, this looks like the biggest and the healthiest, there's actually four here, so I'll probably take out the two on this side, and the one on that side, and we'll leave this one in the middle grown strong, same over here, we've got three, two or three here, we'll probably take this one out on this side, and then leave this one in the middle, some of them, like this one here, have actually got enough space in their own right, there is, yeah, you know, look, we've got, We've got some gaps. We've got a big gap here. We've got a gap here, which is a bit... Uh, I, don't, I, I don't know. I, I, I guess, I was going to say, a little bit frustrating, but I guess it's where there's been no, no or poor germination. But I guess that could happen with any seed. It doesn't have to be seed tape. It could be... I'm just closing the lid there, by the way. It could be any kind of seed. But on, on the whole, at the moment, the carrot seed tape gets the thumbs up. So first time trying that, never done it before. Bought some, I think it was Premier Seeds Direct I got it from. Give it a shot, give it a try, see if it works out or not. Now, onto, onto this. Now there's a, there's a lot to take in with these two beds. Let me, let me just spin you around and give you a look. So, from where we are, the one on this side, this one here, this is the Hugel Culture one. This is the one with the shop bought compost. Now, a few different things to update you on. 
So they were both planted up exactly the same. We've got some onion sets. We've got in the back corner here, these were beetroots and seed. The radish here that we all come to that you can see has got some lovely flowers on it. Over here was sown from seed. And the lettuces, these lettuces were bought from the garden center as little sort of starter plants and on the go. Now there's a couple of interesting things. The onions, right? We'll start with the onions, nice and simple, straightforward. The onions here are grown pretty well. The onions here are grown pretty well. The beetroot, ah, not too bad. Looking all right. We've either got some scorch on the leaves. Let me get you in there. There's either scorch on the leaves or there's leaf mite. Now one of the two, we'll not worry too much about that at the moment, but I think looking over here, I think these ones in the shop bought compost almost look just a little bit healthier. They're a little bit greener a little bit healthier than these ones over here. The radish, now I've had radish picked from both sides. Now you can see some of the radish is bolded. Now there's only so much radish I can eat and it all came ready at about the same time. And it's exactly the same over here. The radish is bolded over here as well. Just what's left, I'll, I'll take that out. It'll go in the compost and we'll get some more radish on the go. It grows dead quick. I've had quite a few pickings of it from both of these beds. So I'd say the radish is pretty even Stevens. Now, the lettuce is a bit funny. So the Hugel culture lettuce is sort of, let me get you nice and close. Look, you can see it's going a bit fusty, a bit rotten sort of on the inside, as is this one and is that one. But if we come over here to exactly the same lettuces, look at these, these are brilliant lettuces. This is a weed, let's just pull this weed out. All right, they are so nice and healthy and, and firm and lovely lettuces. And those ones over there are, well, quite frankly, rotten. You know, they, they look terrible. And there's, there's one missing over there and I pulled it out and it was one of the red ones and that's because that was completely rotten. And the one thing I'd noticed about the Hugo culture bed is there's loads of weeds in it. And there has been loads of weeds. I've been pulling them out, but it's kind of to be expected because it's come from my compost, which would have had weed seeds in it, which is fair enough, whereas the stuff that comes from the shop doesn't. So that's the experiment at the moment. We'll just back up again, and you can have a little a little look at the two beds, sort of side by side there. But, you know, the, the onions, the beetroots, the radishes, pretty even Stevens. The lettuces, don't know what's going on here. Something a bit funny, something a bit funky. Whereas these lettuces... Oh, marvellous. I don't know. Who, who knows? Anybody any ideas what might you cause that? Let me know in the comments down below. Please do. And let's come over here and we'll have a look at the last bed of seed tape. And something interesting has gone on with this as well. Let me spin you around here. So we've got these three beds here. We've got some lovely iceberg lettuces on the go in here. We've got what appears to be a thistle and some other weeds on the go in this bed. And then we've got two courgettes in next to the monstrous comfrey over here. Now this bed in the middle here is where we put the seed tape. Now we had three different rows. I'm trying to remember what there was. So nearest to us here was spring onions. In the middle was beetroot, I think. And on the far side, something else. I, 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 I might have put some more radish in. In fact, yes, it was radish. But as you can see, we've got a thistle, some other kind of weed, and possibly one beetroot and I don't know if you can see them here, potentially two tiny little spring onions here, but equally, it might be grass starting to grow. <clears throat> so I've been keeping an eye on this bed over the last couple of weeks, and it's been nicely watered. It's been looked after. I've been making sure everything's okay with it. But alas, everything has disappeared. As you can see, there is no crops in it. And I've got a bit of a theory. So I was watching it, and as expected, the radish came up first, and there was loads of little radishes all in a nice long neat little row along the edge of the bed there where i'd put them and you'd expect that from seed tape and slowly they started to disappear and the same's happened with the beetroot and the same's happened with the spring onions so i reckon something has been eating them and i guess that's let me come off off my hungers before i fall over and i guess that's one of the things from growing things direct from seed in that you've got very vulnerable weak little plants that first sprout up in the ground when you grow from seed as opposed to say growing it in the greenhouse 
or where, whatever space you've got at home first of all and get nice healthy strong little plants and then bringing them up here and putting them out that can survive an attack from a from whatever from a slug from a snail from a pigeon you know we've, we've got them all around here that like to come and attack but i think something has been munching on the little crops that have popped up in there you know oh look at these nice young tender little plants that have grown in here because after all as humans we like to eat the nice young little tender ones as well it's often the best flavor if you leave things too long they go a bit a bit fusty a bit woody a bit chewy you know when you pick them young they often taste a lot better a lot sweeter a lot fresher but they've gone so the bed's pretty much empty so we've got an opportunity here and i think i'm going to put some onions in i've got the very very last of the onions to come up and go in there and i think that's what's going to go in there anyway please have a think about subscribing it's absolutely free it doesn't cost anything you've just got to click the little red button sort of thing that's down below and that will help you to subscribe but i think that's me just about done for today like i say i wanted to give you a bit of an update on those sort of experiments i was conscious i'd i'd done videos on them and started them earlier in the season and hadn't really done much on them since then so the hugo culture is a little bit interesting with the lettuces and the difference in them then we've got the seed tape over there with a the carrot that's going pretty good i'm pretty impressed with that that's not too bad and then we've got the other seed tape over there that not very successful but i don't think i can blame that on the seed tape as such i'm going to blame that on pigeons or slugs or snails one of the three that's that's what my money's on anyway that's what's caused the problem anyway that is me done for the day thank you very much for watching folks and hopefully i'll see you on the next one bye for now